The sponsor of this video is the Sony Action Cam. Now, if you guys haven't already, you should check out the Sony Action Cam channel here on YouTube because on their channel, you'll find some pretty awesome stuff. Like you'll see the world's top athletes and even animals using the Action Cam to capture some amazing footage, such as the toughest slopes, rapids, racing tracks, and bike trails. Here, why don't you check out this clip? Pretty awesome, right? Yeah, there's some pretty cool stuff built into this cam like built-in image stabilization and a live view remote and a GPS functionality. You can click here or on the link down below in the description bar to check out some more action cam videos over on their channel. What are you waiting for? Get in on the action. And while you're there, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hey, what is up tech enthusiasts? Bo HD here, and this is the brand spanking new Samsung Gear VR. Samsung's take on virtual reality. It's certified by Oculus Rift and it requires a Samsung Galaxy Note 4 to operate, which is actually a good thing considering the Note 4 has a QHD display and a beefy quad-core processor. Some of the different VR modes this thing has is a cinematic wide view, immersive 360 degree experience, and realistic VR game mode, among others I'm sure. I'm just excited to get into this box, so let's just go ahead and do that. We have to slice off both slabs of tape and then we can slide off the top portion of the box. And the first thing we'll see is a stylish Samsung Gear VR protective case, which stores the VR system itself inside. Let's take that out and put it off to the side for a moment because to the left of that is a little white box. This white box has the get started packet, which I will actually need for a device like this. You should definitely keep this packet handy if you order the Gear VR. And then Samsung also included an extra foam pad just in case you need to replace the foam pad currently installed on the Gear VR. But if we take a look back at the giant dark brown black case and open it up, we will find the Samsung Gear VR tucked away safely inside. First of all, I really like how there's a carrying case installed with the VR, definitely a nice addition. The device itself though doesn't feel terribly heavy. It will feel a tiny bit more heavy with the Note 4 installed in it. But there is a lot of plastic on this device that I have to peel off, which, you know, makes sense since this is a brand new device and there's a lot of little pieces here. So I'm just going to skip past all of that. One thing that I want to add is that Samsung included a 16 gigabyte micro SD card in the carrying case, which can be used later to install all of the Oculus games on. So I'm glad Samsung included this. The Gear VR in terms of buttons and functionality, first of all, it has a focus ring or fine adjustment ring, Samsung is calling it which is located in the middle of the headset. There's a dedicated back button on one side above the touchpad. There's also volume buttons next to that, and that is about it. If we walk through the setup process, the first thing we will need to do is install the top strap. One end clips up top of the system and the other end gets fastened via Velcro onto the headband. And this just basically provides some additional support when you're wearing this device. The next thing we need to do is pop off the front cover of the Gear VR and press the phone lock key underneath the plastic cover to release the latch so that we can actually plug in the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. I have the Verizon Galaxy Note 4 in white, which matches beautifully with this system. You can use any Galaxy Note 4 variant though. You can put the front cover back on the Gear VR if you'd like. And the Gear VR has cutouts so that you can install your own wired headset if you'd like. But once you have it plugged in, you're pretty much going to have to unplug it and install the Gear VR software on the Note 4. It automatically directs you to the VR software if you plug it into the Gear VR, which is why I think it's crucial to the setup process to plug it in first. You can find the proper software though by manually searching through the Samsung apps. I will note that your phone needs to be updated to the latest version of Android, and you will need to create an Oculus Rift account so that you can download VR apps, games, and other content for your Gear VR. There will be a point where you are prompted to insert the included 16GB microSD card into the back of the Note 4, which you can do while the phone is on, just be sure not to accidentally take out the battery. The final prompt though is the you are ready prompt. Anytime you want to enter virtual reality, you just connect your phone to the Gear VR headset, you'll hear a chime, which is your signal to put the headset on, and I'm going to do that now and see what happens. And all I can say is, wow, this is my first time using a quality virtual reality system. And yes, the Gear VR powered by Oculus Rift is a quality VR system. The cinemata mode is amazing. It feels like you're actually sitting in an empty theater. 
Just the initial setup room with the faded blue walls blew my mind initially. Virtual reality is here. It's in its infant stage right now, but it's coming, and the Oculus Rift-powered Samsung Gear VR is probably the best virtual reality system you can get your hands on right now, besides maybe the official Oculus Rift headset itself. I mean, the Note 4 is a speed beast, and the QHD display is great. When you're wearing the Gear VR, it is a tad bit pixelated, but it's really not that bad. Especially considering virtual reality is so new, it's only going to get much better. So this is my initial first look, unboxing, and setup. What kind of content would you guys like to see from the Gear VR besides what I already showed you? Let me know by leaving a comment down below, and if you enjoyed this video, it would really mean a lot if you hit that subscribe button. But as always, I'm BoHD, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. See ya!